You'll notice that once I switch to the Omission Guard page set, the page tabs change color. They change to gold. You'll also see that they all have OG in the name. So it's OG Grounds, OG Roof, uh, OG of course being Omission Guard. So I'm going to jump ahead here to the uh, chimney page where I will begin uh, filling out the chimney page. I have these fields blocked out right now because I have not checked any of the check boxes. That's a, an omission guard feature. So I'll check this. I put a comment about the chimney. It's basically in good condition. However, repairs were needed is listed below. So I'll go on to the uh, cap. Well, first, I'll check that we need repairs. I'll go on to the cap, put a comment in saying that it's cracked and should be repaired or replaced. So I'll check repair here as well. I'll go on to the screen, put a comment that the screen was uh, missing, should be installed. And then I will go on to the flue liner, add a comment that the Blue liner is uh, cracked. I'm going to also check that it's defective because we have a serious uh, defect that could cause a uh, fire, uh, visible cracks and open gaps in the ceramic chimney flue. Okay, so now I have these comments for the chimney. I want to uh, move these comments, or not move these comments, but rather copy these comments over to the auto summary page. The auto summary feature, of course, is called total control summary. The reason it's called that is because you have complete control over what goes into your summary, or just as important, what does not go into your summary. Most inspectors, according to nationally uh, uh, national statistics, uh, indicate will want to uh, include a summary. Roughly 85% uh, of all inspectors prefer to include a summary with their report. However, there is a tremendous amount of disagreement about what is appropriate to include in the summary or not include in the summary. That's where the total control summary comes in. We allow you to very quickly and easily choose. So what we're going to do is since we're on the chimney page, the summary page is blank, I want to create a header. Now the total control summary allows you to go to any field in the report and copy that information to the summary and bring you right back to where you were. So I'm going to select the section header here, the page header I should say, is the chimney. I will go up here to the command bar. You'll see the Greek epsilon symbol which is uh, indicates sum in mathematics and it also has a plus sign in the word summary. So I'll click on that. It's going to take me over to the summary page. It says select a location for this comment. I'll just click on the top line. I'll click OK. It takes me right back to where I just started. Now maybe I don't need to put in the summary details such as the, the cap is cracked or the screen was missing and again this is completely up to you the user what you put in the summary or, or don't put in the summary in this instance I'm just going to add this comment about this uh, major defect this uh, cracked uh, ceramic flu so what I'm going to do is I'll just go down to that field again I will click on the Auto Summary takes me over to the summary page. I'm going to put that directly below Chimney. Click on OK and it takes me right back to where I just was so I can continue on with the chimney flashing and so on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go jump over to the summary page just to show you that those comments are indeed in the summary. So we click on the summary page and we'll see that we have the header that we included and then we have the uh, mention of the the defect. Now we could pre-populate the summary if we chose to do so with uh, headers. We could have for example the plumbing section and um, 
we could have, we'll put down here an electrical section. And we can, uh, if we wanted to, we could format this. We can make these bold and italic, and we can make them, of course, different colors, whatever we want to do. Um, I'm going to take this format <coughs> and uh, actually copy it up to the plumbing. So I'm going to copy formats, and I could continue on and do the same thing here. I'm going to copy just the formats down to this line, and I'll make this um, HVAC. So now I have these predefined comments. If I go over to my plumbing page, and I click on, let's say, the meter and the shut off valves <coughs> I'll put um, let me make this the main uh, water valve some of you may call it a water main some may call it a main water valve it's all a matter of personal preference Again, these comments can come from either your library of predefined comments or you can type custom comments. It's, again, your choice. So I will now add this also to the summary. I'm not going to do a header, of course, as I did with Chimney because I've just predefined some headers and those predefined headers could be saved as part of your master report. You can configure the report in virtually any way that you want to. So I'm just going to go add this to the summary. I'm going to tell it I want to be here in the plumbing section and it again takes me back to where I just uh, was working. So now uh, once again I'm going to jump over to the summary page. You'll see I'll click on the tab down here to show you that that comment is indeed in the plumbing section and we could go on I'll jump down to electrical uh, on the page here I'll jump over here to electrical and um, let me nope can't type in there without first um, checking that I inspected it <clears throat> let's go up to the top of the page here service entrance cable okay so I'll this time I'm going to use a drop down and I will find my comment that I'm looking for. So now I've selected my electrical comment. I'm going to list this not just as a repair but a defect. And again, these are words that not, um, not all inspectors agree on the difference between a deficiency or a defect or a repair being needed and defect and so on. The um, the fact is that this is a, a, a pretty serious matter here, so I'm going to call it a, a defect. Again, I'll jump up to my summary button, click on the summary button. It's already taken me to the electrical section because it knows where I uh, left from the last time. <clears throat> so I'll um, I click OK. It takes me back to where I was. And then once again, I will demonstrate that it is indeed in the in the electrical or excuse me in the summary under the electrical heading so we could continue on that way we can put um, comments of any length the summary sections do expand to accommodate the individual comments and when the page is printed it will automatically uh, paginate and go into a second page if necessary which again is something that uh, I don't recommend because the idea of a summary is that it is just that it's, it's a summary uh, so you want to limit the length of your summaries <clears throat> regardless of your style however um, you can put whatever you want from the main report into the summary using the total control summary feature and that is the end of this video.